it's been a year now since we've been working on this place. We bought it just like a year ago. And I've been short on making videos because usually I don't like talking about things I don't know about or don't know what I'm doing. And that's the case here. So um, I think we'll try making videos with a bit more like clips because it's fun variety of stuff we're doing here. We basically wake up every morning, like every day is a Sunday and we work on Sundays, but we wake up with options, not anything we really have to do. We get to work on what we want to do. And um, so in the last year, we've been able to set up what you see behind us now, you know, versus the start of this video, which showed what it looked like a year ago. Yeah, it's been, it's been a great journey and um it has been also the time factor, I think, too, because um, we have yeah, been very focused on um, building um, the start of our um, landscape. And, um, you know, the big part of that was getting um, trees in the ground and um, soil and um, vegetables and, and creating the gardens and the space, so getting to know the space. It's been um, quite a cool year in seeing um, the seasons and the flow and where the sun moves across the sky and the moon. Um, I think that's been quite cool to wait till we do any major building um, as well. And the, yeah, the, the water as well has been a big, a big part of our journey this year. Um, we're now self-sufficient in water and we've got these incredible um, dams moving down the valley floor on actually both valleys which um, one's a swimming hole, which I'm just so um, in love with because I love to have my swimming. Um, and that means also that we don't have to, we're not reliant on anything else. Um, we've, we've got enough water storage and it's actually, we've, Ken's been really amazing at building the swales and um, the water flow moving through um, the gardens and then moving down and then we can bring it back up. So we've got this really awesome cycle of water um, so that's one of the big achievements, I think, that we've done this year that um, I feel very relaxed about now. I don't have to worry about water. We just have to make sure we don't leave the hose on. Really excited, just um, to um, the right here, there's two tunnel houses and a shade house. So we, um, yeah, we, now, we now have a really awesome propagation area, which um, we've been gathering natives and also some um, tropical and subtropical fruits had a bit of success um, sprouting mangoes. Um, so they're just there and I mean we could probably do a little clip showing you what we're sprouting in there. Um, and just below them is the chicken coops. So next to them um, are those four lovely horses. So there are four mares that um, Dorothy comes in and um, supports the Kikuya situation. Um, so that's why those two um, areas are quite brown because they've just munched the kikuya right back um, and yeah and then we've got our um, Ken's wood sh or our um, tool shed which has been amazing just to keep everything um, dry um, and that's really beautiful because he's made it out of board and batter cedar from the property and um, it's, it still smells really awesome and it's lovely to go in and then just um, below that where you can see a little bit of blue and a little hole um, uh, it looks a little bit like a gold mine actually from this direction. That's our um, pantry. Um, we're still figuring out how to do the door. Um, but um, So that'll be our inner, it's sort of a fridge pantry. It's a, oh, maybe sort of between 5 to 10 degrees cooler. I don't know what it's going to be like actually with the door. It'll be interesting because there won't be any warm air coming in. Um, and above that uh, our orchards which you can't really see too well from here um, and then moving up to the woodshed um, where we're living in the caravan and then moving along there's a little bit of a structure um, which is going to be where we're having our um, composting toilet our permanent one um, and our inside one we do have one sitting under the tree and the beautiful bathroom um, so that's divided into two and we have hot showers which has been, um, it's amazing, that's been such a beautiful um, treat to now be able to shower at the end of the day um, and relax in the comfort of the, um, having some heat. 
Um, yeah, and then behind that is the, the vegetable gardens and flower gardens and the odd random sprouting avocado tree. Um, and then just below that is my, um, my, it was my old chocolate factory when I was in Auckland, but it's now, it's my healing space and um, kind of my she shed. Um, and then we've got guts behind that. So yeah, it's starting to come together and just below where that, um, that pantry is actually is where we're going to be doing our earth um, kitchen lounge um, area, which um, yeah, we're starting to do a lot more research about um, the different and, and playing around with the materials here um, with the cob and straw, um, with the clay and straw and um, using findings actually from the local quarry. So um, that's pretty exciting. Yeah. So there we, there we have it. I think a lot of people are doing this kind of thing, but proportionately for the, like the mass amount of people on this planet, um, a lot of people, there, you know, very few people really do, a few number or percentage wise. So I think instead of trying to talk about things that we know about, since that's not possible, <laughs> I think we'll try to make more videos, but mostly it'll be short clips. Like the rest of this video is like short clips of stupid things going on around here. Cause it's, it varies a lot from, you know, when it's raining, we'll dig holes and plant things. And when it's not raining, we might be trying to take a, a, a hanger out of a tree that we're trying to drop um, to make uh, the toilet. Um, and you know, that took days of figuring out without getting killed.